Hello, our SH problem statement number is 1285, an AI-powered legal document assistant. Our project name is Legalese, and I'll walk you through the demo which we've built. Legalese is an AI-powered legal documentation and expert consultation web platform. It has four features, one of them being chat with legal documents. You can import legal documents and ask it various questions like summarizing and explaining it in simpler terms using natural language prompts. Generate legal documents. Using fine-tuned LLMs and mod ML models, a user can generate secure legal documents. Third feature being raising a query. If a user or business isn't satisfied with the answers generated by us, they can raise a query and will be connected with an expert legal advisor. This can include a subscription model for generating revenue and incentivizing the expert. Translation is the fourth feature that we provide. Translate a legal document in a regional language to any language of your choice. I will now present you the working demo of our project. So our project is now up and running. So let's go. This is our welcome page. So a user can log in. I have already logged in. So I'll just put my credentials here. I'll click on login. This involves two factor authentication for high security of the authorized user. So we have two factor authentication. So I've received an OTP on my mail 86774. This feature is being implemented by our Django email backend service. Now we have successfully logged in. We have also stored session for various role handling capabilities. This is our first feature that we have is chatting with the UI. This has different features like settings. We can make it to dark and light mode. I'll import a legal documentation of file that I didn't understand. This is the file that I have. Tesla modern slavery transfer statement. So I don't understand it and layman's usually cannot understand that. So I'll just tell him summarize me the above legal documentation in simpler terms. Let's see if it does that. This is generated by LLM chainlet service. So this is another service that we have. So it also gives us the thought process that it follows. And it also gives us the citation that it has. So this is the answer key. Legal document made by Tesla. This is a legal document made by this, this, this firm. The sources are cited here. All of the sources are cited. The thought process that it has followed. It also has a contextual memory. Like I can give follow ups on that. And I can even give a new chat theme. I forgot to mention one part where when a user logs in, his essential credentials are saved using SHA-256 algorithm. So even if someone gets access to our database, he just cannot access the credential parts. The prototype of our second feature is this, where a user can input the domain, the duration of his argument. Mumbai, India is the jurisdictional place, 16 September. Uh, party one being this, party one being Rishikesh Patil. I click on submit. This obviously takes a lot of time because every AI heavy task is in one server. We are thinking of making it to a mono a microservice architecture. Right now, it's a monolithic architecture. We are also using caching system in our dashboard where high computing service are required. We are using LIU cache here. This is a function level caching. So this obviously takes a lot of time because heavy ML, AI ML tasks are involved there in this. This also includes fine tuning of our data and all of that. Till then I'll show you the LRU caching that we made and also the hashing that we did. This is the SHA-256 algorithm that, that we use before saving it to our database. Now the legal doc text is generated. I can even see how it's generated this way it's paced. But we are thinking of making it more dynamic so it can be framed in the PDF more lightly. We use taxing system so that our memory is saved and we can directly access from the temporary memory. We have thought of different developers. So we have also containerized the whole application. We have our own caching system. We have our own serializers. We have serialized the entire model instances. And these are the URLs that we have. And also, so here uh, we have serialized the data. So why are we using serializer is because a lot of time what happens is we, whenever we try to fetch data from the database, we get complex data, data sets such as query sets and view sets. Now we need to convert those manually to native Python data types. So 
serializers do that for us and it can even deserialize them and so that we can further render them into json uh, so these are the models that we have used why are we using django orm is because we wanted to focus more on the logic side rather than focusing more on the complex sql commands these are the models that we have uh, which can be converted to native table fields apart from that i'll also learn you to the code of our chain lead you can chat with the ui so this uses a third party llm model where it find uh, converts those texts i'll show you the software architecture of how it's been built how the system works so this is how the system works extra content it is splitted into chunks many chunks are embedded into vector embeddings we use vector database called chroma db to save all these vector chunks and whenever a user prompts uh, a new prompt that is being converted into different tokens again a semantic search is followed in the vector database and according to those uh, llm model is provided with a input and llm model again using transformer architecture provides as an answer that is being showed to the user this is how the whole software architecture of chat with ui works coming to the third feature we have translation feature where one can usually translate any regional language to another language of their choice so this is will lead in marathi i cannot understand it i want it to be translated in english this is obviously not integrated right now within our django service it would be soon integrated so if i just go to and if i just click on python main.py it would obviously convert this marathi language uh, i can show you the input file is this and the output file name is translated pages.py you can see translated pages has been created and if i open it up here um, where did it go let me just open it up in translation it's translated pages and there you go it's now translated to, to english and this was in marathi so this is the feature that we have there are a lot of api requests that are being called between the client and the server and also a third party llm server right so how are we actually handling all of those and how is it secure so the reason is it secure is django has its own lot of middleware protocols called security middleware protocols session middleware protocols so a session handles the robust role handling capabilities of a user whether he is authorized or not we just cannot give any vulnerability to the user so that's why we use session management and we have a lot of middleware protocols to be followed along the way when a request is even when a request and responses are processed so the future architecture of our service includes container orchestration tool which is kubernetes so we have different containers we'll have different containers which can interact with each other so that's where kubernetes orchestration tool comes in so right now we just have one container and it's a monolithic service right so we are thinking of making it to a microservice architecture so that's why we are thought and why did we choose mongodb specifically is because it helps in horizontally scaling the database we don't have to actually look into the data set and uh, sh make shards on our own it automatically does that so that's it why we used uh, mongodb as our database primary database so yeah that is uh, it from our side whereas we covered the scalability side of caching system functional level caching was it important to fetch from temporary memory rather than fetching it from main memory why are we using orm why are we using serializers containerization and all of that optional integration including containerization orchestration tool and security part being managed by session management middleware protocols two factor authentication hashing and all of that there are certain things required in this prototype so we'll be working on it soon so yeah thank you stay tuned for more